Hello and welcome back to Life by Design. I'm Karen Kulenovich of Healing in Bloom. And today we're talking about giving yourself permission to shine. This is one of those topics that I find is really a stepping stone for a lot of my clients, a lot of the people that I've spoken to who are highly sensitive and empathic and want to step into something bigger than where they are at the current moment. And yet there's this part of them that feels like they need to ask permission. Now it's not a literal permission. It's almost like there's a part of them that's still walking around with their parents in the room with them as they make these decisions for their life as adults. And it's something that's very subconscious. It's not something that we're often thinking about um, in a logical way, but there's still those voices within us from our past um, that can get in the way and become too loud to the point that we feel that we need to ask for permission to do some of the things that are really important for us to do. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to give you a quick reminder that as adults and as people who are responsible for their own path in this life, it is really up to you. It's not up to the people that raised you, the people you live with. It is up to you. And that means that you take full responsibility for saying yes to yourself and listening to that part of you that may be a little bit nervous or scared about stepping into the unknown. And even so, giving yourself permission to go out there and shine. As children of parents, it is normal and natural to want their approval and their permission to do something. Um, that's just something that we're, we're born with and it's a very natural thing. However, when we're adults, it's not normal to have our parents walking around with us, but essentially that's what's happening when you allow their old voices from when you were seven years old or even 16 years old to inhibit what you wanna to do today. I've spoken with literally hundreds of people who are highly sensitive and empathic and wanting to have that approval or permission or reassurance that there won't be any judgment when they do something that really matters to them is not a guarantee that's realistic, okay? However, I will say that most of the things that people tend to worry about don't ever actually happen. So it's just a matter of stepping into an unknown place and knowing that that in itself is going to cause a little bit of anxiety perhaps, just because it's something completely new. So if you allow yourself to give yourself permission and release anyone from your past from having to give you that validation in order for you to move forward, then you're much more likely to take real steps toward making your dreams and your goals happen sooner rather than later. So this is your reminder to give yourself permission. You are worthy, you are capable, and you absolutely know it deep down that you're meant to do something more than what you're doing today. And it's not that you're not enough, it's that you know there's something else and the only person holding you back is you. Whether it's start a business or start a relationship or move to a certain place, whatever that is for you, your own version of shining your truth is apart from anybody else. It's really your own path in this life. So recenter yourself in whatever way that you need to because the truth is, it is up to you. It is up to you 100% and at that time, you will receive validation. 
But that validation is going to come in unexpected ways. So it's not always from the people that we thought we needed that from. You'll be connected with the resources, the answers, and the people who will support you. And that's a completely new energy as you move forward. So instead of reaching back in time for approval, look at where you're going and where you want to be and know that along that path you will be provided with all of the answers and the support that you need i hope today's message has been helpful for you if you'd like to book a free consultation with me there's information below on how to do that otherwise have an amazing week and i'll see you next time on life by design